computers and more. And today we have with us the Gigabyte Brick S, which is one of the many bricks that Gigabyte has been launching lately. To be very true, this is an age of mini computers, when computer components are becoming smaller. And Gigabyte has been pioneering this field with its range of mini PC DIY kits which they like to call bricks. Well, they were generous enough to provide us with the Gigabyte Brick S which is powered by the Intel i35010U Broadwell CPU. It is clocked at 2.1 GHz and very much like all the other bricks available, it is also a bare bone. Which means you will have to drop in an additional 2.5 inch hard drive or a solid state drive along with a RAM module. This one over here supports two SODIMs at a maximum capacity of 8 gigs and operating at a frequency of 1600 MHz so you can choose from a wide variety of range. Also, it is priced at roughly around $265 which is a very very nice deal. Considering that the brick is actually aimed at being a mini PC come a home entertainment system along with a mini gaming console. There is absolutely no way that you just can't get this thing up and running in under $300 along with the price of the storage drive and the RAMs. Also, a one major advantage with the Gigabyte Brick is that it supports Windows OS, both the Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1 even. Also, it supports the Chrome OS, the Linux OS as well as Ubuntu, which unlike its other counterparts like the Chromebox doesn't restrict you to a particular OS and gives you a, an enormous advantage of flexibility. So without further ado, let's start with the unboxing of the Gigabyte Brick S. So let's open the box and I am not doing this intentionally to add any drama but this is how it is supposed to open. So pardon me for that. On opening the box, first of all we have the brick itself which is securely packed in a wrap. Well, as you can see, the brick is a very very small unit. It's atrociously small, it can fit in the palm of my hands. It comes with two USB 3 ports right in the front, along with an audio jack. And there is absolutely nothing on these two ends. At the back you have more two USB 3 ports, a Ethernet port for connecting your broadband connections or connecting it to a LAN maybe, a display out, an HDMI port and obviously the power, power cord. Yeah, this is where you will attach the power cord because it works on an external power, power supply and not on a battery unlike a laptop. Digging in further, we find that we have a a set of screws, these are meant for the VESA plate which is actually provided along with this to mount the brick behind your monitor or an HDTV. This is for installing the drives, a user manual which is very much common and yes the driver CD. The brick doesn't have an optical drive. You need to install these drives, drivers either by copying them onto a thumb drive or you can directly download them from the Gigabyte website. Below that you have the VESA plate of course, the VESA plate looks something like this and is obviously as I told you it is used to mount it on the back of your display. Below that we have the power cord, yes we have the power cord, yes. We have these power cords, you attach this to this just like a laptop and then you can plug it in at the back of the brick and then it will be up and running. So guys, that is what all we have with the bricks content. I will be posting a performance review of the very same very soon. So stay tuned and uh, till the next time, bye bye and take care. Thanks for watching. And yes, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.